Hi, my name is Ali Shesala from Breach Digital and in this short video we are going to talk about um, how we filter differential mode current noise and how we filter common mode noise. So, starting in differential mode, let's assume that we've got a power supply. In one of the previous videos, we discussed differential mode currents and common mode currents, and we know that the differential mode current goes out of the line and comes back in through the return. So, in order for us to filter this, the most common way, in fact, is a very simple LC filter. So, you have got an inductor here, connected to there, and then you've got a capacitor here, connected to there. Now that forms a very simple LC filter which filters out our differential mode uh, noise. Uh, the issue is though that we need the both lines to be balanced. Uh, in particular uh, the noise on both lines is tested and therefore let's say that for simplicity we calculated the, that this to be 10 microhenries. What we normally do is that we put 5 microhenries on the line and five microhenries on the return. So you end up with half L over here and another half L over here. And of course, these form an LC filter with this capacitor here and um, that filters differential mode noise. Um, in addition, often you end up having a large electrolytic capacitor plus some damping resistor or ESR. These two, let's call this CD, and RD. These two are there to make sure that the filter does not cause instability with the power supply according to Middle, Middlebrook's instability criteria, but we will talk about that in a different video. So for now, this is the major part that we are interested in, and this part is what is filtering the differential mode noise. Now, as we discussed in the previous video, we also have some common mode noise and common mode currents, and we said that the common mode currents will flow this way and then return through parasitic capacitances to the chassis to protective earth. This is our third line. So I've got some current going that way now through here and I've got some current going that way through here. I need to filter these also and I do this with a common mode choke and if you look at it a little bit deeper, you'll see that it's exactly the same as this structure in that it is an inductor and it's a capacitor. It's just that you have got two of them now and they have to be with respect to the chassis. So I'm going to draw now a common mode choke. It's usually dra drawn like so. The dot notation shows that it's a common mode choke and the C has to be with respect to the chassis. So what happens next, that goes to there, that goes to there, and then I need some capacitance with respect to chassis, which goes from there to there and from there to there. So, you can see that you've got an LC filter down this path, another LC filter down that path, and if I put a little block around it, this is the common mode section, and let's use a different color. This is the differential mode section, and then you have got here your line, your return, or neutral, and your protective earth. Sometimes, in addition to these, you also put an extra capacitor here in order to filter some more, but again, we discussed this in a different video. Okay, now this is the full structure of the filter, but many times when you see the circuit diagram of a filter many of these parts are actually omitted and you see a much simpler uh, circuit diagram but that does not mean that they don't exist uh, the issue is that the leakage inductance of the common mode filter 
actually like acts like a differential mode choke. We're going to talk about that in detail in, the, in another video. But for now, please just take my word for it that whatever leaks within this common mode choke is going to act like a differential mode uh, inductor. And therefore, manufacturers of filters actually omit these and they only draw this part. So a very common way of looking at the circuit diagram a line filter looks like so. You have got some X cap between the line and let's say neutral or return. Then you have your common mode choke. Then because the leakage of this is acting like the uh, um, uh, differential mode inductance, they don't even show it on the circuit diagram. They draw the Y capacitors for the common mode choke like so in the center and tie to chassis. Yeah. They do not show the inductors and then you usually have got a bigger capacitor. That is the differential mode capacitor and very often they actually omit the damping uh, components either in the circuit diagram or altogether in the filter. And that is a very common way of looking at a circuit diagram of a, a line filter or an EMC filter. Uh, you think that there is no differential mode uh, filtering going on with any differential mode choke, but in fact it exists due to the parasitic inductances and stray leakage inductances of the common mode choke, which we'll talk in a different video.